the best place to find winning Facebook and Instagram ads is on the Facebook ad library. This is a tool that literally allows you to see every single ad that's running by top eight, nine figure brands, the biggest brands in the world, as well as you can search for individual product names to find all the competitors in your niche and all the ads that they're running. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to best use it in this video and break down also how to take a competitor's winning ad and easily duplicate it for your own brand and own product in ChatGPT at the end of this video. So stick around for that, let's jump in. All right, now starting out here, this is the Facebook ad library. Now it's super simple to navigate and find it. You literally just go to Google and search for Facebook ad library and you're gonna notice right here, uh, it's gonna be the first thing that pops up that's not an ad and so search the meta ad library, Facebook ad library, same thing open this up and that's gonna bring you into the Facebook ad library. Now, once here, it's essentially a search bar, kind of like Google, where you can search for brands and also individual keywords. So you can search for a product name or something like that. So I'm gonna start out right here. And what you can do is change the location. So you can do all, you can look at every single country, you know, worldwide and all the ads that a particular brand is running. But I recommend just starting out with, you know, a particular country that you're looking to advertise in. So the United States is usually a good place to start. And then for this uh, ad categories right here, there's different categories. We don't really worry about these. We just go all ads and that's all you really need to worry about. And then as you can see here, search by keyword or advertiser. So the first example right here, I'm gonna do a brand Mudwater. I'm gonna search for them right here. And you can see that advertiser is showing up with their Facebook page connected to this and their Instagram account as well. And you can click on them essentially. And it's gonna open up all of their ads that they're currently running in the United States. And so we can scroll through this and we can see they have a whole host of video ads. And so we can click on this and go view more details on this first ad right here. And we can see exactly what this ad is. We can see the exact copywriting that they're using. So some inspiration for copywriting formats there. We can of course view the entire ad that they're running. All right, and then we can see the headline. We can see the description. We can see the learn more button. And you can also learn a little bit more about the advertiser as well. But every single ad here, you can see all the platforms it's currently running on and when it started running, which is important. So this has only been active for about 18 hours. So this is a new ad that they're testing. To find the best ads, you really wanna go look at the oldest ads. So scrolling all the way down in the Facebook ad library to see the oldest ads that they've been running for the longest time those you can be confident are their winning ads that consistently perform for them. And so if I scroll down here, you can see they're running a bunch of video ads. This was launched on April 23rd. They've launched a bunch just yesterday. So you're gonna kind of, kind of commonly see that with brands because they're uh, testing a lot of different ads. But in this case, they've been running this ad since the 17th. So this one probably is a winning ad and is working for them. And again, if we keep going down here, again, it's sorted by like recency essentially. So if we keep going down, we can see there's many, many ads, but they have a total of 93 running, it says at the top. And so this is actually their oldest ad, which is running right here, which is a partnership with Wellness with Delaney. It looks like a combination here. And that's been running since June 11, 2024, which is their oldest currently running ad. And so if we go and view the details of this ad, again, we can see all the copywriting right here. Looks like they rely a lot on these benefits. So benefit-driven ads, kind of highlighting the main uh, you know, benefits that a consumer can derive, which is smooth energy, no jitters, you know, compared to coffee, uh, 100% organic, functional mushrooms, and then the reviews. And then you can see, you know, the actual ad itself and you can view that whole thing. And then it's also the $20 off promotion with a free frother. All right, so another tip when using the Facebook ad library is to use a tool called Foreplay, which you can see I have it activated right here. It's a Chrome extension, but this is their website. And so Foreplay allows you to essentially plug into the Facebook ad library and download any ad that you see into uh, this particular software, where then you can view those ads and share them easily across your teammates and just create an overall library of ad inspiration that you can use and replicate. So you can kind of see how it works. This is what the dashboard would look like. You can have a file, essentially a swipe file of all these ads that you've downloaded. So in the ad library right here, let's say I wanted to save this particular ad to a certain board that I had for ad inspiration. I could easily you know, select which board that I wanna save it to, and then I can go ahead and click save. And it's gonna download that ad and all of its content, regardless if you know Mudwater decides to turn that ad off because they no longer are running it. I will have that ad saved forever. So it allows you to really streamline your creative 
research process and also bring it all together and allow you to easily share ads versus kind of seeing them in the ad library here. And you know, how do you download them from the Facebook ad library? It doesn't make it easy to do that. So this kind of simplifies that process. There's also other tools out there like Magic Brief, which allow you to do kind of the same thing and also track ad results. Uh, but Foreplay is kind of the front runner in that space. So that's how to use the Facebook ad library to find winning brands, right? And you can do this for literally any brand, right? So if I wanted to search for Nike, boom, Nike's right here and all of their, you know, uh, affiliated uh, Nike brands that they have in social media accounts. And so if I click on Nike right here, boom, I can see they have 510 ads running right now. I could download any one of these ads if I want to for inspiration. And then I could keep on scrolling down and see, you know, these ones are launched on April 21st, but I can go all the way back and kind of see their oldest, longest running ads as well. But, you know, big brands like this are going to be launching a lot of new ads constantly. And so something to kind of note there. Again, Apple. I could search for Apple as well. I could see all the ads that Apple is currently running. They're currently running 500 in the United States. You know, if I did globally, they'd obviously have a lot more and probably a lot of different languages and stuff like that. But you can see all the ads that they're running as well. Now, the other way to use the Facebook ad library is if you have a particular product and you want to see all competitors that are running ads similar to the product that you have, you can easily search for that product and find all the ads that contain that particular keyword. So let's say you have a new revolutionary golf shoe and you wanna see all golf shoe ads that are currently running, all the competitors that are out there and what other ads that they're running so that you can kind of get some inspiration from that. You can just go into here and search for golf shoe, literally just enter that and boom, it's gonna pull up a whole library of different golf shoe ads that you can easily emulate. And again, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take one of these ads in less than five minutes and duplicate that for your exact product. Even if you have not the best photography, you can duplicate the exact same ad in just a couple minutes. So we can scroll through here and we can see different brands, True Links, Sunday Red, which is Tiger Woods' brand. Um, you know, we have Beckett Simonon. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but you got him. You have Y Clot Shoes. You have Heron Store. You have Foot Joy. So again, a ton of different ads right here. And I'm going to keep scrolling until I see something that I really like. And then we're going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to emulate that ad to find, again, a winning ad, duplicate that, and put your own spin on it with your own products in just a couple minutes. Okay, so I actually, I like this one from True Links. I'm going to go to their actual Facebook ad library. Okay, so I like the ads that they're running. I'm in their Facebook ad library. They're currently running 75 ads. I'm going to keep going down and see, you know, what's like the oldest ad that they're currently running. It looks like it's this one. The original barefoot golf shoe just got even better. And so they have this kind of barefoot icon right here. Yeah, but this is a good one right here. So this is kind of like a testimonial ad right here. So I'm going to go see ad details right here. And you can see it kind of has like a review, right? It's a quote. And then it has upgrade my shoe game. It has the colors and everything like that. And then it has their logo and all that stuff, right? And so if I wanted to emulate this exact ad, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this ad. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find a competitor, right? Like, let's say, you know, you'd obviously wanna do this for your own brand, but I'm just gonna find, you know, a different brand that has a golf shoe that I wanna actually advertise. Like, so let's say that this is the golf shoe that I want to emulate with that ad that I just saw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a similar screenshot. So it's obviously kind of like the top down view. So I'm gonna grab this screenshot right here. So I'm literally just gonna grab this shoe. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into chat GPT right here. I'm going to go to the plus icon and I'm going to go upload from computer and I'm going to upload both of those images. Okay, so I uploaded the ad image itself uh, that we want to emulate. And then I uploaded our actual photo right here of our shoe that we want to do the same ad with. Now, I have this prompt already pre-downloaded, so feel free to screenshot this and you can use this exact same prompt. I also have a full video on the channel of how to do this exact chat GPT ad creation process and also a couple other things that you can do with this ChatGPT image creation. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT, paste this in right here. And then all we have to do is just kind of adjust the various aspects of this to make it match what we want to do. Okay, so I've updated the copy to kind of match what I wanna do. Obviously you don't wanna replace this with you know an actual testimonial that you have on your website or whatever it might be. But we've kind of inputted everything that we need to. And then all we need to do is submit this and ChatGPT is gonna output a graphic ad creative just like the one we uploaded. Boom, and so just like that, like I said, inputting in that product, we had our actual product that we uploaded and it now outputted exactly what we needed. I updated the copy to say 99%, the most comfortable shoe I've ever owned, upgrade my shoe game, right? Might have to update this survey. You could easily edit that out. And also, you know, there's a couple details that aren't quite exactly correct, right? And so in this case, the FootJoy logo should be right here. Otherwise though, it looks really, really solid exactly pretty much like the image that we uploaded and we could test this ad right away 
if that was a you know a winning ad that we found, which again, in this case, it is. So that's the basics of how to use the Facebook ad library to find winning products. This is really just scratching the surface. You can dive in to so many different areas and find millions and millions of ads for ad inspiration to find winning ads. Now, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. I get back to everybody personally, so I'm happy to help you use this tool even more. And also, if you're interested in running ads better, I recommend checking out this video by me next. I really think you're gonna like it.